What's good, guy? Welcome back to the channel. This is Big AB, and I'm back with another video. I got um, uh, the artist of the decade, man. I got that going on. Um, Hot 97 put out this bracket of the artist of the decade, and I got it here right with me today. I'm going to kind of break it down and give you my opinion. We got the first round. If everybody want to sign up and, and vote for this, you can just, I'll put the link in the description to the Hot 97 um, website. You could do it yourself. Uh, but I'm going to uh, look at it, give you the percentages and stuff like that. So let's see. All right. Oh, man. Oh, there's some spots that I don't agree with, but we're going to just go through it. First round, we got an A side and a B side. I'm going to go ahead and start with the A side. Um, first, we got, uh, well, first they got number one seeds, and that's Chris Brown, Kanye, Jay-Z, and Drake. Those are the number one seeds automatically. So, um Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, we have Chris Brown and A Boogie. Now, what the voting says for this at the moment is 91% Chris Brown, 9% A Boogie, which I agree with on that 100% that Chris Brown takes that one. Next, they have Young Jeezy and Travis Scott. Okay. No, <laughs> no, this is Young Jeezy, but in the last decade, it would have to go with Travis Scott. 100% agree with that. They have Travis Scott at 86% and Jeezy at 14%. Now, if it was the decade before, then of course Jeezy would have got that, but it's not. So let's move on. We got Fabulous and Miguel. Um, this one, I thought it was actually going to be close, but I could understand it. They have... Um, Miguel at 68 and Fabulous at 32. Okay, um, this I thought was going to be a little bit closer of, you know, a match between. Um, but I am going to go with Miguel just because of the last albums. Now, Fabulous has put out mixtape, which can, you can consider an album if you want to. But for official projects and things like that. I'm going to go with Miguel, and that's what they have it as, too. Uh, next is Usher and French Montana. Now, this one, I was surprised. This one's very, very close. 53% Usher and 47% French Montana. And this was close for me as well, but I also had Usher at this point because he's done way a whole bunch, you know, French Montana, my guy. He's my guy, but I would have Usher going um, going over French Montana, so Usher's that one. And the next is Kanye and Trey songs. Now, this I was so really surprised because I thought this was really going to be close. But they got 86 Kanye, 14% uh, Trey songs, and... Hey, I had Kanye winning, but I, th I thought it was going to be closer than that. I didn't think it was going to be <laughs> that, you know, overboard. But Kanye is my pick as well. Next, we have Ky uh, Kendrick Lamar and the Migos. This was a little unfair for the Migos because they have been doing a lot um, this past decade. And I thought this pick was a little bit unfair to the Migos, but... I had Kendrick Lamar over the Migos as well, just because of the body of work. And I thought it was unfair, but <laughs> they have it like this, so we're gonna go with it. So they have 80, what is it? 88% Kendrick Lamar and 12% Migos. Damn, sorry Migos, but that's the way it goes. All right, next they have 50 Cent and Rihanna. Oh, okay. Now, if this was, like I said, if this was a decade before this decade, then yeah, 50 Cent. But we have this decade, which Rihanna has been 
you know, putting out her stuff. And I'm anticipating her new album. I hope, hope she can bring that out. I know she's busy with the Fenty, but we want an album. You know, we're ready for it. So, but they had 91% Rihanna and 9% 50 Cent. Sorry, 50 Cent, but that's the way it goes. All right. Next, last match on the A side is J. Cole and Eminem. Okay. Now, this, I did have J. Cole win it. I did have J. Cole win it. I thought it was going to be a little bit closer. But you, you think about Eminem in the past decade, he ain't really did too much. So, I can, I can agree with that. So, um, they have 85% J. Cole and 15% Eminem. Agree with that totally. Okay. And that was all from the A side of the Artists of the Decade. All right. Um, now, this is just the first round. The second round is going to actually begin tomorrow. So, um, if you were late, I'm sorry. But second round is tomorrow, so you can get to vote then. So, first round will end at 11.59 p.m. tonight. So, this is going to upload tomorrow. So, we'll, we'll uh, get the results tomorrow and then start on second round tomorrow i'm gonna do another video of that but moving on to the b side now the b side i really don't agree with the b side at all bro hold on for a second yeah i really don't agree with the b side at all but we're going to go ahead well i agree a little bit but let's go to it the b side we have jay-z and future this was very unfair to future he has done a lot in the past decade but <laughs> you're going up against Jay-Z. So, what I had, I had Jay-Z winning this one, hands down. Hands down, hands winning this one, but it was unfair to our uh, future. Uh, Jay-Z, they have 64%, 36% future. Sorry, future. But, I, I actually, I think this, I think future and the Migos would have been better, um, a better matchup. And Jay Z, and Jay Z and Kendrick Lamar. Oh no, no! If they would have went, it would been, ooh, that would have been tough. But Amigos and Future, I think, would have went better. That would have been better. All right, now moving on, we have Nicki Minaj and ASAP Rocky, which ASAP is my, <laughs> that's my dude. Hey, 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 that's my bro. But going against Nicki Minaj. Can't say that you can win over that. So they got Nicki Minaj 74%, ASAP Rocky 26%. Understandable. I have no problems with that. Moving on, they have Rick Ross and Meek Mill. Now, this I thought was going to be very, very, very close. But it's not as close as I thought it was going to be. Um, they have Rick Ross at 32 and Meek Mill at 68. Meek Mill, I would put as an edge, but I could understand if someone put Rick Ross. That's why I thought that this was going to be way closer than it is, but hey, nothing there to say. Um, that's one that could have been a toss-up and I thought it would have been closer. Moving on, we have Fat Joe and Gucci Man. Okay. Hands down, Gucci Man uh, for my pick. And they have 81% Gucci Man and 19% Fat Joe. Understandably, even though Fat Joe had had a uh, plot top plume, which did pretty good. That album did okay, but it doesn't get his his is also was very successful in the decade before this. So I can understand that. Um also uh moving on. Now this <laughs> This surprised me. I don't know if I agree with this. At least for the numbers, I don't agree with it. They have Drake and Beyonce. Okay. Now, this was a toss-up as well. I could see if you would have went Beyonce or Drake. But, understandably, Drake has had a lot of success. So, I can understand it. But, I thought that these numbers would be way, way, way closer than it is. They have... Drake at 81% and Beyonce at 19%, which 
I understand. I mean, I know. Uh, was it Sasha Fierce album didn't come out in the last decade? It came out the decade before. At the you know, it came very close though. But mm, the, the the four album, the Beyonce album, the um, Lemonade album was good to me. You know what I'm saying, but Drake did have more projects. Um, he was very successful at it, so I understand it, but I thought the numbers would be closer than that. Um, this one also, next, we got Big Sean and Lil Wayne, and I thought this was going to be very close as well, but it was not. I was like, what? Um, Big Sean, uh, no, no, actually, Big Sean and Lil Wayne is very close. This is 10% difference. They have Big Sean at 45 and Lil Wayne at 55. And I agree with this because this is very, very close. Very, very close. I will actually have um, Big Shine at this spot. Me. Because you think about it, Card 3 didn't come out in the last decade. It, 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 came, out, it came out in um, the decade before. And... Um, <sighs> I don't know, man. This is a toss-up, man. This is a toss-up, but I would have went Big Shine. Um, but, obviously, this is a very close match at 45 and 55, so I understand that. All right. <clears throat> now, next is DJ Khaled in The Weeknd. Now, I was, I thought I was going to pick The Weeknd, too, for this one. But actually looking at it, I was looking at all of DJ Khaled's projects. Now he didn't have we the best in the in the past decade or some some of the albums uh, before then. But he has Father Aside and all of those albums in this mix. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think. I mean, Weekend is he's amazing. But I just don't think he had enough projects to win over DJ Khaled. So this one surprised me. They had DJ Khaled at 33% and 67% The Weeknd. And if you pick The Weeknd, uh, hey, that's you. You know what I'm saying? He's he's awesome. He's a, he's a good artist. But I think DJ Khaled had more. All right. Um. Uh, Okay, like I said, DJ Khaled at the weekend, understandably, and I would have picked DJ Khaled. So that's two that I didn't agree with. But let's move on. We have Cardi B and T.I. Okay, like I said, this is another artist that for T.I., if it was a decade before, then obviously T.I., which Cardi B is basically new. But at that, but saying that, I was looking in, I was like, T.I. versus T.I.P. wasn't, you know, most of his really, really good albums was last decade. So I can understand you picking Cardi B, even though she just has one official album and is basically brand new. I can understand it for this decade. Um, but that's it. Uh, well, actually, let me give you a percentage on Cardi B and T.I. Cardi B at 76, T.I. at 24%. So, lopsided, but I understand it. All right, that is all for the B side. So, that is round one, 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 uno, one. That's round one of the A side and the B side of the artists of the decade. Now, like I said, this one ends... At 11:59 tonight, so it will, you know, it will end. So if you haven't made your votes, sorry, but next uh, second round is gonna start uh, tomorrow. Uh, between, I think it starts at. Uh, okay, it says December 4th, uh, which is tomorrow. So, and it will end uh, tomorrow. So. 11.59 tomorrow, end of second round. So be on the lookout for the second round. I'm going to make another video tomorrow going over this. And it's going to get even harder on these next rounds. So I'm excited for the next rounds. But actually be on the lookout for it because I will be uploading. And 
Thank you for looking at this video. Please like this video. Comment on the video if you like it. Give your opinions on who you think should win in the brackets and if you had any disagreements. Um, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you um, haven't subscribed yet. Um, and also, man, be on the lookout for round two tomorrow. I'm going to be doing it. And it's just going to get harder from here, man. I like this bracket, y'all. I'm going to leave the link in the description below of the link to Hot 97s for you to vote. So just be on the lookout for that, and I'll put it there. Till next, next time, it's your boy Big AB, the home of the reactions, home of the whatever, man. I'm telling you, the, the, the uh, do-it-yourself projects, reactions, everything is going to be happening here. We keep it real. Keep it a thousand. Big AB. And we <laughs>